And also, another exciting thing, I was very happy to be included in on a vlogging collaboration with Laura and Jeremy. I'm going to have their channel link for you down below in the video that I was asked to be part of. That was super exciting and fun. So if you guys are looking for another channel to watch, maybe something new to add to the repertoire, definitely click on their link down below and hop on over and take a look. I think you might like it. Hey designers and welcome back. Today I am very excited because we're going to be playing with some makeup, so stick around. Well, if you guys watched the haul this week, then you know we found some new goodies at the Dollar Tree and we're going to try them out today and let you know what my first impression of these products are. They are called the Beauty Benefits and they're packaged in the boxes that look like this. Super cute packaging because we all know Divine Design loves pink. Anyway, these are produced by Mark Wins. That is the parent company that does Wet n Wild. And you will also notice this brand that's out a lot during the holiday season, like at Walmart and Kmart, all those gift set packages. A lot of those are Mark ones, and I do enjoy that brand. I have found them to be quite satisfactory in the past, so I do have pretty high hopes for these products today, but we're just gonna apply them and see. I do have 10 items here, so this whole face look is gonna be for 10 balas if it works. Starting out with a fresh, clean face, all moisturized and ready to go. I'm not gonna use a full face primer because we wanna see how this makeup is gonna do on its own, but I am gonna use an eyeshadow primer when I get to my eyes because my face is so oily that I can already tell you it doesn't matter what brand of eyeshadow I wear from at least expensive to most expensive, it's gonna crease on me without a primer. So that's the only thing that I'm gonna to use today that's not part of this line. All right, so to start off, we're gonna use this Radiant Finish Total Coverage Foundation Powder. Now on the packaging, it says it's a pressed powder, but the outer packaging says that it is a foundation powder. So we're gonna use it as a foundation powder and see how it does. The color on this one is a latte, and there were a couple of different colors that you could choose from. I'm gonna be using this small mini kabuki brush. Already I can tell you on a first impression, this does not look like a powder foundation. <laughs> no, this is going on more just like a pressed powder. But the claim already that this is a full coverage, no, definitely not. I mean, it almost really looks like I just don't have anything on there. Buying this for a foundation, I say no way. Now, I think it would probably be a pretty good powder, but I would have to use it over top of a foundation, which was not the point of this video, but for a foundation, mm -mm. The next product that we're gonna use is the Flawlessly Tan Silkly Bronzer, and this one is in the color Biscotti. There were several colors of this as well. This one's kind of dark, so this might be more of a contour, actually than a bronzer. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a Real Techniques contour brush. See how dark that is? That's very dark, very pigmented. I barely even touched my brush in that. But now this is what I've noticed. Trying to blend that in, it did wipe away kind of easily. So I did have to go back into more, even though it was highly pigmented. It is very powdery and quite blendable. I do like how easily that blends out and it's not leaving just this harsh, see how harsh that line is right there? But it's gonna be quite easy to blend that out. Definitely easy to diffuse that up. You could still see the line along the bottom here that is leaving a contour, but it is diffusing quite nicely. Look at that, yes definitely diffusing very nicely. Okay, so I like that. I like this. This biscotti though is definitely more on the warm side, so keep that in mind depending on the tones you like to go for. All right, now this is where I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little bit of my primer potion from Urban Decay. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and with this Radiant Finish Blush, it does say that it is long-lasting and lightweight. It is a silkly brush in the color Punch. So 
Let's go ahead and see how this works. Now I'm actually going to use a Real Technique stippling brush for this. And again, that is blending very nicely. Blends right into that contour very nicely. This doesn't seem to be quite as highly pigmented as that contour slash bronzer. They called it a bronzer, but it's dark enough to be a contour. Again, it is powdery, so it does diffuse nicely, but it's not so powdery that it's a lot of fallout. Okay, so whenever I say powdery, don't get in your mind that it's one of those that's going to be so powdery that it causes a huge mess. It's just silky and smooth, like it says, and very easy to move and blend around. Now we're going to go in with this Satiny Smooth Eyeshadow Trio Palette. This is in the Evening Palette, so let's just see what this does. Alright, one thing that I am enjoying about all of these powders is that you can see there, hopefully, when I touch the brush in there, there's not a lot of like fly out loose powder. These colors don't seem, or this one, this lightest color here, doesn't seem extremely pigmented. Not sure how it's showing up on camera because some of these colors are showing up a little more stark for you guys, but in person they don't look quite that pigmentedly stark, if that makes sense to you. Not seeing a lot of color payoff in this lightest one. I see a little bit, but not a lot. I'm also going to take that lightest color and apply that all over the lid. And yeah, again, you can see, you should be able to see anyway. That's not extremely pigmented. All right, I'm gonna to try to use this middle one into the crease. See how much that blended out? It went on quite dark, but then it just like blends away to almost nothing. I don't particularly like that whenever I'm using eyeshadows. I do like the fact that obviously that makes it very blendable, but that means that I'm going to have to go in here with several different layers now to build that up because the more that I try to blend it out, it's like disappearing and going away. It does move around on the skin nicely though, I can say that. Now just using a pencil brush, I'm going to go in with this beautiful burgundy-ish color. Not really sure what color you would describe this as, but it is very pretty. It does look very pretty. Look at that. Very beautiful color. Alright, naturally that does have a very reddish undertone. Very pretty, but we don't want to leave just the red fully around that eye without trying to darken it back up with that middle color because we don't want to look sick. We're just going to go back in with a little bit of that brown try to deepen up just that little outer V. Going in a little bit closer to look with this mirror to see about fallout, there is just a little bit of fallout, but not much. Definitely not what I was expecting for a dollar. I figured there would be a lot more fallout than that. I'm going to go back in with that lightest shade, just try to lighten up this inner corner a little bit more. That lightest shade does have a teeny, teeny bit of sparkle. It's like a shimmering color, but there is just a little sparkle when you look at that pretty close. The other two do seem to be a true, genuine matte, though. Now I'm just going to use a big old fluffy brush and just try to blend that out just a little bit more so it's not so harsh. That really does blend and diffuse very nicely. I'm going to go back to that cream eyeliner pencil. We're going to do our waterline and tight lining with that. Very, very creamy, this is. Not sure that this is going to be good for the waterline, though. We'll have to see. Goes on nicely, though. First impression of that is I love how creamy it is. Now we're going to go in with this liquid eyeliner in the black. Super cute little bottle. Love the packaging. It's got a very, very long handle, but then the, the tip of that is very short. A very very wet formula. The brush is definitely not very stiff which I'm not fond of in a liquid liner. I like the brush to be a little more stiff than that because it gives you better control. So that is a little bit of a negative to me but it looks like it's going on nice and dark. 
It's hard to draw the wing with this because it is such a flimsy brush. Definitely, from a first impression, is not liking the brush. I do like that the handle is nice and long. That's real easy to use as far as the handle, but the brush is not. And that really doesn't even look like a true, true black. I don't know if you guys can tell how wet that is. It's actually glistening to the point it looks like glitter. And that actually might be a glitter, guys. It looks more like a charcoalish type black with a lot of gray undertones in that. Let's look back at the box. The box does not say anything about glitter or sparkles, but this, I'm not sure that that's gonna be able to show up for you guys that well, even zooming in. This definitely has glitter. There is a sparkle in that eyeliner which I do like the sparkly eyeliner sometimes, but it would have been nice to have been warned about that because I would have picked that up thinking I was just getting a nice black eyeliner. And when you know it, my allergies are gonna act up, not to the makeup, it's just in the air. I think our trees here in Florida are already starting to shift or pollen. <laughs> but I'm gonna go back in with this little pencil and try to smudge just a little bit out on the bottom line because I don't want to bring that sparkle down there. Yeah, that's an obvious glitter. There's one right there on my eyelash from that eyeliner. I mean, it is a beautiful liner, don't get me wrong. It is pretty if you like glitter. My only complaint is I think the packaging should have warned us of that. Now we're gonna go in with this Define and Lengthening, Lengthening Mascara in the black. Gotta get those lashes curled first. Now with this mascara, that's what the wand looks like. Nice and skinny. It claims to be lengthening, so we're going to see. Going on very thin. Can't even hardly tell that I have a layer of mascara on yet. I even have my magnified mirror on and I'm still not seeing. Not seeing any lengthening. Not thinking I'm liking this mascara. Not on a first coat anyway. Look at that. You can't even hardly tell I have anything on. Nope. Even with two coats, even with three coats, mm -mm. this mascara is doing nothing for me. Next, we're going to try these lip liner pencils. I did pick up the set that says Scarlet. Some really pretty colors in here. The problem is, though, that I'm not sure that they're going to match any of the lip colors that they had. We're going to go with this little bit lighter of one, and there's not actually a name on each individual pencil. So I'm not sure how to tell you, except just the lighter of the two is what I'm gonna use. That applies very nice. It's nice and creamy. It glides a lot against the lips very nicely. Definitely love the way the pencil applies. And now we're gonna go in with the lip colors. Both of these say sparkling lip gloss. One of them is in the tube, and then one of them is in with a little doe foot applicator. This one looks a little thicker, like it might be an actual lip color, just maybe a glossy color. You can see the swatch right there, though, is very, very thin, so I'm thinking it really is just a gloss. But let's put it on the lips and just see. It's a beautiful color. Oh, so sparkly. So sparkly. That's really pretty. It does not have a lot of pigment, though. It really is a gloss, so I think that's probably going to be better over another lip color. But let's, I'm just going to keep that on the bottom. And on the top, let's use the one out of this tube, and it is even thinner. And this one does not have the sparkles. That's more just like a gloss with just a slight pigment of color blended together over that pencil. They're very pretty. So let's just recap and assess all the products. Overall, I think this makeup gave a pretty nice look today. I do love the colors and I love how all these colors are just going together. Going over the powder for my first impressions, this is not a true powder foundation. This looks like it would work great over a regular foundation. Once the face has been all put together, it's not that bad. And it did bring a little evenness to my face, but it's definitely not the full coverage that it claims to be. You can still see right through to my skin, my pores, every blemish that I have. <laughs> it's all there. So definitely don't think it lives up to its claim, but it is a nice powder for just a dollar. The contour and the blush colors, I do enjoy these. They go on with a, quite a bit of pigment at first, but they do blend away quite nicely. So even if you are a little high, 
tandem with them, you still can blend them out to a pretty look. So I did enjoy those. Not much fallout and not much loose powder flying around, so that's a positive. This little trio set, I definitely enjoyed that. I think it gave a very beautiful look today. I think they blended together nicely. They're not strongly pigmented though, but they are very blendable and buildable. So if I were to have used this over a white milky pencil base, then I think it would have made the color pop a lot more. So that's something to keep in mind. But for just a dollar running in there to pick it up, yeah, I like it. The little pencil duo, that is a great deal. That makes these just 50 cent a piece. They are nice and creamy. They went on very well and I was able to smudge it out very well also. So definitely do like the pencils. Not sure how I feel about this liner. It is a pretty liner and I do love the sparkle. If I was going for that kind of look, if I was going out for a night on the town or whatever, I do like the sparkles, but I was disappointed in the fact that it said it was black and nowhere on it did it even let us know there were sparkles in there. But when I pulled it out, I could obviously tell that that bottle was like a bluish gray hue. So still couldn't really, I mean, you can tell the sparkles if you look really close, but now I know to look for them. I didn't know to look for them before. So that was a little deceiving, but it is pretty once you get it on. Love the long handle, but not a fan of the brush. The brush was a little bit tricky to use, but it did end up with a nice result. So it is workable. The mascara, definitely do not like this mascara. Again, this is the lengthening one and they do have a thickening one. Haven't tried that one, so that one may be better, but this one, mm -mm. I have on like three coats of mascara and you really can't tell I even have any on at all. So definitely not a fan of the mascara. The lip pencils, again, that makes these 50 cents each because it is a two pack for the dollar. And I do, I love these lip pencils. Nice and creamy, applied very smoothly. Love the pencils. And both of these, absolutely love both of these. I think they're beautiful colors. They are both very thin. This one has a little bit of shimmer in it. This one does not, it's just a gloss, but they do have a slight enough amount of color that if you just want something more natural to go out, maybe run errands, you're gonna love it. And it's obviously beautiful over other colors. So there you have it. That's my first impressions of these products. I'm gonna be wearing these throughout the day and over on the vlog channel, I'm gonna keep you posted on how they wear. If they're really long lasting like they claim, how long these lip glosses might last and all that kind of stuff. So you're definitely gonna to wanna to go over there and take a look at that vlog channel. I'm gonna have the link for you down below because I'll be keeping you posted on how these do because this video here is just the first impression, but we need to also know how they wear to know if it's really worth spending those dollars. Overall, not a bad look for those dollars. Now I'm just excited to wait throughout the day and see how it's gonna wear and see what happens with these colors as the day progresses. All right, I want to thank you so very much for sitting here with me for a few minutes to take a look at these first impressions. Don't forget to check out the vlogs. All right, I want to thank you again so much for sitting here with me. Remember, you were created for purpose, so go and be all you can be. I'll see you soon in the next video.